Hi there, hello and welcome to this video. In this video you will see a time-lapse of me um, designing and also modeling um, a simple what I call a simple weapon um, in the Blizzard style or the World of Warcraft style. Um, this is not just a time-lapse, I will also talk throughout the entire video and tell you what I'm doing. Um, so in the first part here you see me uh, just uh, sketching out um, designs and I'm doing uh, just the silhouettes of the weapons. Um, it's important here to work just on the silhouette um, and not get lost in details. Um, also you just want to you just want to have uh, lots of designs and don't worry too much about uh, quality. Just keep bringing them out, just keep keep going, don't stop um, until, yeah, the more you have the better. Um, this is very much about quantity and not about quality. Uh, you have to keep in mind that um, most people that are not very um, experienced in doing this, like I am, um, I'm, I'm gonna make a lot of bad designs anyway, so um, the more I make, the quicker I get these bad designs out there and the quicker I'll start to get good designs. Um, so I made a row of 10, 10 silhouettes and um, now I'm uh, taking some of these, which I, I thought I would need a second row, but there's, there's some okay ones in there, and starting to uh, detail them a little bit more um, with some more line art. Like once you're doing line art, you're slowing down immensely, and um, it's easy to get lost in details, and it's important not to get lost in details. Um, because a strong silhouette is the most important part of um, of this design process, I think. Um, and it's yeah, it's um, yeah, just keep going and just try to make numbers uh, even in, in the second phase here I'm, I'm doing like five of them um, and then I found number one and number five to be quite promising so I set out to try and see if I can uh, make them even stronger and fine-tune them. Uh, the aim that's also important like my aim was to make a fairly simple simple let's say a, a horde weapon um, fair like was an example for or it's going to be an example f for class so I didn't want um, too much uh, too much detail um, I didn't want like a high tier weapon I want like a low tier weapon um, but if you're doing a portfolio piece you you probably aim for more like a high a high tier impressive impressive design um, which in my case was a or that that was not the case here um, so you see that the handle uh, has a much stronger curve um, and yeah the thing in in the end I just like the 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 more straight handle but the X head was a was a bit a, a bit better defined uh, so once you have a a good silhouette or a silhouette that you're happy with it's time for some more detailing so I make it like a middle gray color and I start to do some line art um, like yeah you can see I'm not the most talented artist but um doesn't matter almost everybody can do this um, yeah and this is a time-lapse of course so I, I don't 
I don't draw that quickly uh, in in real real time. This is uh, sped up, but um, even in real time, it's it's like it's a fairly quick process. It, it's not taking hours. It's um, just taking like one hour um, or even less. Um, yeah, if you're doing more complex design, it will take longer. So uh, yeah, th there's there's some little bits and bobs missing from the time lapse. Um, I yeah, the computer crashed, so I I lost a part of the yeah part of the recording. But here I'm I'm doing the second uh, design. First, uh, yeah, I I um, used the transform tool a little bit to stretch out that that part. Um, and now some some more line art. Yeah, just just looking for the scores. Um, and yeah, I, I sort of have some things in mind, but other things are just like once you like once you made a few designs, designing goes easier and easier. Um, just out of the blue, I can't do this because I'm. Um, not talented um, enough for that, and I'm not experienced enough for this. So um, I just follow the process. Um, and this video is about a process, so it's not sp specifically about Photoshop. Or uh, here you see, you recognize 3ds Max. Um, here the video is a little bit quicker, uh, because I don't want to talk about 3ds Max. Uh, about how to do this, just uh, the basic principles. So many of these shapes, in this case, are fairly flat shapes um, with sides, so that's why I start from a plane and I make those bevels um, and I try to use every triangle as good as possible um without there uh, being um yeah without the triangles clearly being in there um there's also yeah um there was a bit of a mix up so you can see part of the handle there but that's actually a part that I'll redo later but now I'm doing the or sorry yeah not the handle the hilt so that that piece of the hilt. Um, uh, yeah, you'll see it later in the video because I, I redid it. Um, I didn't like it. So I have these massive end guns in the middle that I just uh, yeah sort of cut up um, so that they don't pose a problem. And yeah, the cut tool for this is very useful. Um, you don't have to use it. Uh, as long as you use triangles as good as possible and try to get the most out of every triangle, um, this handle could be a little bit more uh, low poly and I was looking how to do it a, a bit, but um, all in all this modeling process didn't take that long. Uh, the modeling and the Unwrapping combined took about one hour, so uh, but it's a very simple weapon. Um, so with a more complex weapon, of course, is that would be longer. So yeah. Um, yeah, you see this this bevel here. Uh, a bit later, I'll I'll remove it again because I don't really need it. Um, in the silhouette, you can't really see it, and it doesn't really add much uh, to yeah to the model. So I I remove it again. Um, also, the entire model here is um, is uh, symmetry uh, along the yeah along the flat of the plate. There's a symmetry line. Um, So I didn't design that many of these models yet, but I do have a bit of experience with modeling those sort of shapes. 
uh, but still yeah you, you always yeah search for it a little bit and that's fine like you don't have to do everything perfectly from the from the start um, that goes for everything in CG art you can just change something if it doesn't look good or if it doesn't work out you just do it again or differently or you fix it because uh, that's a major advantage to digital arts is that yeah you can't do anything wrong you can't break anything you can just look for stuff and then redo it if it works better so yeah I'm I'm setting the um, the smoothing groups here uh, but it's uh, probably not necessary I'll probably show this model uh, using the unlit or shaderless uh, material so it won't really matter but still I'm setting them can't help myself uh, for the unwrap I uh, mostly use uh, the quick peel and the relax tools and yeah some of the sides I do manually a little bit um, that's fine and this this uh, model is, is too simple basically to uh, to fill the entire uh, UV space neatly but uh, what I do is uh, I use the checker pattern yeah it's old school but uh, I use the checker pattern to match the size the texture size of the different parts uh, and here yeah at the end so some more uh, fixing some more smoothing groups but that's it pretty much um, end result and uh, I make a emit occlusion with mental ray first a little test and then a big one with uh, higher settings and this will uh, help me during the painting process to uh, see the overlapping overlapping polygons so yeah thanks for watching and see you in another video maybe I'll also do the texturing, but I'm not sure.